Hello. Welcome to the pharmacy. How can I help you today? Okay. Can I see your hands? Okay. Hmm. They look uh, very dry and a little bit swollen, but I think that um, the swelling, the swelling may be because of the cold outside. Have you been to the doctors? No? Okay. Um, well, I would definitely do that and um, maybe get your blood work done. Uh, the test on any arthritis. Mm -hmm. And maybe glute too. But for now, I can give you some recommendations for lotions so that you can take care of the dryness. Is that good? Okay. Let me grab some lotions for you, okay? So, um, I have three lotions in stock at the moment. I'll go over them one by one and explain you the difference and the best and not so good traits of the lotions. Okay, so I will start with the one that is the cheapest, which is this one. Um, this lotion will help moisturize the outside of your hands. Um, it has very basic ingredients, um, and not too natural, so uh, this will really just take care of the outside dryness of your hands and won't really go deep into the skin. But the good thing about this is that it is really cheap, really affordable. Of course, I wouldn't sell any products in our pharmacy that aren't good, so this will do its job, but not as good as some other products I will um, explain to you. So, this is an option. This is also for your nails, so your nail cuticles will be very soft. After you use this, and um, the smell is very, I don't know how I would explain it, but it's just a very neutral smell, a very neutral scent. So I'll put that aside and I'll explain you the next hand lotion, which is this one by Knip, and Knip is a German brand that um, uses pretty natural ingredients, no perfume, um, and also uses um, natural plants, so extracts from plants. This one has Dunis Bloom in it, which is like hydrating and also very um, intensive nourishment. So this is definitely a recommendation. Um, however, this has a very specific scent that some people may not like, so I'll let you smell the scent and you can decide whether you like it or not. <laughs> not really. That's what I thought. It's, it's very specific, so some people just don't like it, like us, but there are people who do like it, so why we have it in our pharmacy. 
last but not least, I have my recommendation for you, which is this hand lotion by Vaseline. And this is probably the best one for you because it takes care of extremely dry hands um, with uh, like the Vaseline jelly is very good for that and it keeps the moisture in your hands so this also is fragrance free uh, so this won't um, be itchy sometimes when you have like fragrances in certain products it can cause some itching um, but this or like sting like stinging but this won't do that so I would definitely choose this one if I were you and yeah you will take it okay um, so you apply this uh, every evening and like a kind of big amount um, like this and then massage your hands let them dry for a moment and then move on with your night <laughs> that's it it's really aside for you is there anything else mm -hmm. okay panic attacks um, let me think I think we have a few products that can help you uh, calm down instantly uh, after panic attack but I'm not sure if we have them in stock you know with the whole situation going on in the world right now a lot of people are very anxious so uh, we are trying to stock up on those products they are on their way but I'll check if we have like something okay I guess it is your lucky day we have one last um, rescue drops for you and what this is this is um, let me show you it is a little bottle with a dropper let me open this if it works this is very well sealed can't seem to open it it's a new bottle so I don't know why it doesn't want to open because it would be nice to let me try something okay I was able to open it and this is what it looks like it's a very thin dropper bottle and what you do is whenever you feel anxious when you feel um, like rushed uh, you put four drops of this solution on your tongue and you swallow like you let it sit for a few seconds and then you swallow with your saliva and um, then you drink a little bit of water after it to get the um, this little solution in your system um, you can use this like up to 10 times a day so like 40 drops uh, on a day and this has about I think um, maybe like a thousand drops so can definitely um, use this for a long time and let me see this does have alcohol in it so maybe that's why it works so quickly um, we have an alcohol free version of this but it isn't in stock right now um, but this is good for you okay <laughs> 
Um, just don't use it when you don't need it. Um, it's still a medicine. It is natural, but um, medicine stays medicine. So um, don't overuse it because then it will also lose it. It's working. Anything else? Sorry, I was a little bit distracted. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I can definitely see that is uh, going in with the whole anxiety story. You've been very sweaty. Mm -hmm. Like especially the armpits area. Okay. No. No need to be ashamed, everyone has that, especially in these times. Um, so your regular deodorant isn't doing that great anymore? Okay, uh, well we definitely have some products for that, I'll go ahead and take them for you. So, um, I have two versions. First we have Eau de Eau Care, and then we have Eau de Rex. and I'll explain you the difference. I'll start with this one, um, or I'll compare them first. So this one um, is a roller version, and this one is a spray, and the roller version lasts up to 7 to 10 days. And this one has to be applied a little bit more often, so use this one um, once every 7 to 10 days. And this one you use 2 to 3 times a week, um, but in my experience this one lasts for a week or more too, so uh, it's not always right what it says on the packaging. Um, but it is both doing what it has to do, um, which is not making you sweat. You can also uh, put this on your hands, actually. Of course, if you block too many uh, parts of your body from sweating, you will have some different sweaty parts, like your back, for example. So just put it on the really necessary areas. Um, so I'll open this one and show you what it looks like. It's this small bottle with a roller on top and before you use this you shake it so that everything inside is well mixed so that you don't have only the alcohol for example or only the water and then you open it this is very self-explanatory, but um, it's always nice to have a good explanation. Open it, and then before you start, you roll this so that you have a wet part to start with. And you roll it over your armpit or any other area for two times, maybe. And then you spread it with your hands. Wash your hands after if you don't want the effect on your hands. Um, but then you let it dry. Uh, you can't uh, work out after this um, because you can't sweat anymore for like a couple of hours. So the best would be to apply this in the evening, right before you go to bed. Mm -hmm. Good. And then the other one, which I would recommend to you. Um, because this is just easier. Um, the spray bottle. Let me 
check it out for you. This is what the spray bottle looks like. It is also very tall and small. I'm gonna open the cap. So, again, before you use it, just shake it. Then, first make sure that your armpits are clean. So, wash your areas. And then, make sure it's completely dry. And then, spray two to three times, evenly on the surface. But don't spray around the skin, like the skin around the area, uh, just on the area, because if you spray around the area, it could cause some stinging, uh, which is not nice. So, and then, let me see, oh, very important, don't spray this or put on the other product after you just shaved, because it's just like regular deodorant, like the spray deodorant. You know what it feels like after, like, you just shave. So, don't do that. And this should keep you protected for a while, too. Um, so, you want this one? Yeah. Um, just uh, a thing, this. Um. Product. If it starts itching, uh, stop using it and come back to me because then we'll try to figure out what is causing the pain uh, and itching. Okay, uh, that shouldn't happen, but if it does, uh, make sure to come back. Okay, that's it, um, I guess. Uh, are there any other problems or concerns you have? No? Okay. Well, I hope I was able to help you finding the right products. Um, I'll go ahead and take the So go ahead and put your card in the little payment system. Mm -hmm. And I'll put the amount of the products in there. So we have twelve fifty. Then wait, no, that was the wrong price. Let me check that again. So 10, then we have 12, 12, that makes 22, and then we have 15, which is, my math is really bad, as you can tell, which is 37, 37 in total. So go ahead and put your card in. Okay, and your code. That was a success. Um, I'll give you your products. Here you go. And thank you for visiting us and hopefully I won't be seeing you very soon because that would mean something isn't working. Um, but it was nice having you here, and take care of yourself, and wash your hands.